Welcome, y'all. Let's get ready to use our power tools for another DIY. This DIY was inspired by a piece that I saw at Hobby Lobby. These cute little wooden snowmen. So let's get ready to make it. Welcome, y'all. If this is your first time here, my name's Robin. And this video is part of the Power Up collaboration, which I will tell you about in a few minutes. So the first thing you're going to need is three pieces of scrap two by four. And these are just some wall studs that I had left over from a project. So I'm just using my jigsaw to cut them to length. I cut one piece at 15 inches, another piece at 14 inches, and the third piece at 13 inches. You're also going to need a piece of one by four to attach all your snowmen down together. As I said, I was inspired to make this piece by something that I saw at Hobby Lobby. Those little snowmen were so cute and I love wood, I love rustic, and I love decorating with snowmen for Christmas. So I, d I knew I just had to make this project. Once I had all my pieces cut down to size, I just gave them all a good sanding with my palm sander, getting all the little splinters and rough edges off. And even though these pieces were pretty smooth, sanding the wood just helps it accept the paint a lot better. So I took them inside and I gave them a coat of white Waverly chalk paint. And now I'm making the little hats. All I did was grab some socks at the Dollar Tree. They have some really cute winter socks out right now. And I, I'm using that for the hat. I grabbed a pair of the black and white buffalo check, the red and black buffalo check, and then they had a blue and white buffalo check. So I thought I would make like a mom, a dad, and the snow baby. <laughs> so right here, I'm just using my hot glue to attach the sock down to the piece of wood. Just for some extra security. As I mentioned before, this video is part of the Power Up Collaboration, which this month is hosted by myself and co-hosted by the talented Zaina at OK at Home DIY. Please be sure to visit the playlist in the description box to see what these other lovely, very, very creative ladies have come up with for you today. So here I'm just cutting my sock at the heel and I'm just using the top part of each one of these for their hats. So hang on to that bottom part and of course the extra sock you have left over because there are lots of really great DIYs that you can use for those for the Christmas and winter season. 
Now, I know not all Dollar Trees have the same things out right now, and things are kind of hard to find. Um, so, you could use fabric for their hats. If you have any of the little fleece scarves from the Dollar Tree, those would be good to make. Or just any kind of fabric that you have laying around at home, that would work just fine as well. This is my favorite part of making snowmen. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I like snowmen. Um, but decorating their faces, you just, you get to make them unique. And there's really no right or wrong way to do it. It's This is just totally for inspiration. You can freehand it like I'm doing. You can use a Cricut. You could Google an image and um, transfer it on that way by using some um, transfer paper or, gosh, guys, it's way too late, <laughs> graphite paper. You know what I mean. You can transfer it on that way. You could use buttons for the eyes. So many options just to make it your own. This is strictly just for inspiration. But I really do love snowmen, not just at Christmas time, but in winter as well. Because I think snowmen you could pretty much leave around your house all winter long. They don't have to be specifically just for Christmas. If you're finding my channel for the first time, 
drop me a comment and say hello. Let me know where you're from. Because I love reading all y'all's comments. I, I love getting your feedback. Let me know what you think. If you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Giving this video a big old thumbs up. And sharing it with your family and friends who would also enjoy this video. I've got lots more Christmas DIYs coming up. We're just now getting into the season. I know a lot of people are still, of course, decorating for fall. And nobody's ready to decorate for Christmas yet. But I just love making Christmas DIYs. Y'all let me know. Do you want to see more fall? Or are you ready for some Christmas DIYs? Because, you know, I want to make what, what y'all want to see. So, leave me a comment below and let me know. So, now that my little snow family is all decorated up, it's time to attach them to my 1x4. And I just drilled some pilot holes. Makes it a lot easier to attach them. And I also um, countersunk my screws. It just makes it a lot easier. That way the screws would be flush to the bottom. And the board would sit evenly on the porch. Which is where I'm planning on putting this. So I'm just lining everything up using my husband's cordless drill. This just makes it so much easier when you drill those pilot holes. You don't have to worry about splitting the wood or anything like that. So here I'm just going to attach them one by one. There's Junior. I'm attaching him first. And then Mama will be in the middle. And then Daddy will be to the far left. I thought they needed a little something. So I just hand wrote, Our friends are flakes. I thought that was kind of perfect. So I'm just attaching... Um, some of these little silver snowflakes that I got from the Dollar Tree with some hot glue. I'll put one on each of their hats because, you know, snowmen, you know, they, I just, they needed a little something. And I thought these were so cute. So I'm just using my hot glue and I'm attaching the end with a hole in it down close to the brim of their hat. That way that hole is covered up. Next, I took this bag of wood snowflakes that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I just decided, I just decided to leave them plain uh, just for a more rustic look. And I'm just attaching them here and there, wherever I think they need it. All there was, all there was to it. And now they're all finished. And I think this turned out so, so cute. I love it. Y'all let me know what you think. Do you like it? Love it? Are you going to try to recreate it? Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out the playlist link below. And as always, until next time, y'all go get your craft on. Bye.